already see it on the list, just click on it. Then click on go when you're done. Hello everybody, Whisker Fear here, back again. And this time I'll be showing you the next activity center for the Toy Story series. And that is Toy Story 2. So Toy Story 2 activity center. Now this one's a bit different than the first one. I think this one's a little more linear. It doesn't have as many activities to do. But it's still fun to play and fun to look at. So let's start by typing your name in. Oh, you're new to these parts. Welcome, partner. Hey, howdy, hey. Hmm. Advanced technology. And now, the high ridin' rootin' tootin' hero of all time, the world's favorite cowboy, Sheriff Woody! Hey, howdy, hey, deputies! Hey, howdy, hey, Sheriff Woody! It appears to be some sort of code. Well, Sheriff, looks like I've come to your rescue once again. Rescue? I could be making residuals! We're on a mission with our recruit here, Sheriff, to explore this quadrant. Oh, it's you! <laughs> well, there sure is a lot of fun to explore in this amazing TV. Come on, we'll show you how to get around. Click on this knob here to move ahead and look at all the games and activities. Click on this knob here for any fun stuff you might have skipped past. When you see a game you like, click on the TV screen to head right for the action. So, go on, start moseying around. Hold on, Sheriff. You neglected to inform our recruit of the remote control unit. This unit can transport you back to the command center. He means the TV room. And you can use it to quit playing, too. You can even use it to reset a game whenever you want to start over. Well, partner, get a move on. Let's round up some fun. Alrighty, so obviously we're in, uh, you know, Al's room, and here's the TV. So, there's a few activities to choose from here, so let's start off with the first one, which is Cone Chaos. So let's get started. Ah, you're just in time, Earthling. Your mission is to guide each toy safely across this busy road. While we cleverly disguise ourselves inside these brightly colored traffic cones, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to guide us. Use the space bar on your keyboard to order us to drop our cones. That'll stop the oncoming traffic in that lane, as long as there's enough time. Okay, here's our chance. Ready, set, go. All right, let's guide him across the traffic. Ooh. Well, school buses take longer to stop. It's an easy cross. Good. All right. Mm hmm. Of course, you can fall in these holes as well to hide. 
Great job. Okay. So this is all pretty simple. This is the easy level too. Maintain course. Alright, last one here. Alright. Mission accomplished. Amazing. You earned the highest score. You're a Space Ranger now, Cadet. All okay. right. If you want to play a new game, pick a level. Or use the remote control device to return to the TV room. Okay, let's try this harder real quick. Let's go to level three. Ready, set, go. So this is level three. And the car is moving faster and we have gum on the road. Fire engines cannot stop. Careful. Fire engines can't stop. See, it's a little tougher. Okay, so you get the idea of that. Let's go on to the next game now. If you're sure. Yeah, you're back. Click on the TV to rustle up some more fun. All right, next up is Toy Shelf Showdown. So this is about. Again, the evil Emperor Zerg threatens the peace and stability of this quadrant. There's no easy way up there. Perhaps if I assemble the stages of that rocket ship... Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move me. Use the space bar to fire my laser at those menacing robots. But remember, I only have five shots. Let's go to it, cadet. All right, let's get going. So we have to arrange these parts of the rocket. Four shots left. Only three shots left. Like level one usually is. It's pretty easy. Only oh, two shots left. Only one shot left. Out of firepower. I better find a that's the last one. Aha! There's the command module. So when you're out of firepower, you can grab that battery and get more shots. Then when you're done, you go up here. The rocket assembles itself. And off you go. I couldn't have done it without your help, cadet. Amazing! You earned the highest score! You're a Space Ranger now, Cadet! Alright. Good job. If you want to play a new game, pick a level. Or use the remote control device to return to the TV room. Alright, let's play this at level 3 and see how it is. This 
So the robots move faster here, for one thing. And there appear to be more of them. Zerg has been defeated thanks to you. Astounding. You made one of the top ten scores. Good work, Cadet. Alrighty. If you want to play a new game, pick a level. Or use the remote control device to return to the TV room. Okay. So let's go on to the next game. If you're sure you want... Alright, next up is Critter Corral, which is like a board game, like you play with Slinking, the first one. The different rules. Well, howdy, folks! Welcome to Critter Corral, a rootin' tootin' critter rustling game. Let's call up them critters now. The object of the game is to get all the critters from your corral into your opponent's corral. You can move a critter into any empty square around it, in any direction. Forward, backward, left, right, even diagonally. You can also jump over another critter if there's an empty space next to it. Oh, and you can do multiple jumps too. You can make the game harder if you want by clicking here. Oh, and if you want to play against a friend, click here. Ready? Let's corral some critters! Yeehaw! Okay, I won't play a full game, but I'll play enough to give you an idea. So you move your space, you move your critters to the spaces that are highlighted. Then you gradually move them to the other player's spaces. The other player's cover, color. Do this one at a time. Start this. See, I will jump him to over here. Why not? Now I can jump across and have this guy over here. I can jump over this guy and have him go over here. So, yeah, it goes like that the entire game. <laughs> now, let's go to level three and see how hard it can get. If you're sure you want to. This is level three. So, the first thing you'll notice is when you, when you select one of your critters, none of the spaces light up, so you have to know where to put it. Now if you 
try to put a critter in a space where he can't go, then Woody will scold him. So you must put it in the right spot. So now you can put him over here. And so then it will go on. So let's go on to the next game. So let's put that game in. If you're sure. Alright. Now believe it or not, this is the last. Uh, this is the last game here in this activity center. Which is luggage game. The sheriff's trapped inside one of these portable storage units. We've got to find him before he launches from the spaceport. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move me. Use the space bar to fire my laser. I'll have to watch my step. Good luck, Cadet. <laughs> so you use the arrow keys to choose direction. And then you press the up key to move in that direction. Now, Woody is always in a blue case. So when you find that one here, then it'll be the one he's in. right there. So now we gotta go up here. Help! Help! You're a better help. luggage locator than any ranger in the car. Alright. And here's a more difficult level one puzzle, but still pretty easy. So there he is right up there in the corner. So Let's go on level three and see how hard it can get. Click here again if you're sure you want to check. Yes, Buzz. As you can see here, there are different boxes. If you stand on these for too long, you will fall in. Now Buzz will only fire his laser if you're right next to a to a hazard. In this case a cat. Dude. If you try to shoot it otherwise, he will not do it. No, I don't want to waste precious battery power. So So we navigate around here. Fire it again. Now, in this level 3 one, there are actually two blue cases. One's fake. And the one you're looking at there is the fake one. Alright. Fire. And there's Woody up here. Help! Help! Smart work, cadet. You are a top flight toy finder. And so then it goes on. So that's the luggage game. So let's see what else this game has to offer. If you're sure. So as I said, that's all the games. The only two things left are the create a comic book and the Woody's the Woody's printing press. Which I'm not going to show because you know I don't you know I can't show what I printed out. Uh, but you can print out you can print out postcards and stamps and pictures and all kinds of stuff using the printing press. But I will show you the create a comic book. So I'll show you what this is.
Howdy, partner. This is the place where you can create your very own comic book starring your favorite toys. This special art case has buttons you can click to choose all sorts of fun things to put in your comic. Once you picked out some art, click on the buttons on the box around it to make it just right. I can't wait to see what you're going to make. Okay, so first up, you can choose background. Got several to choose from here. Up. So there we go. A little, a little country house there. Characters. And then we have we can choose characters. We have Woody, Dan, and Jesse, and Bullseye, and Stinky Pete, and Zerg, and Buzz. Let's put Zerg out here. This special box can make your art bigger or smaller, move it around, or get rid of it. Try it and see what you can do. And we'll put Buzz right here. Prop. And then you can add decorations or props here. Um. Down. You can put a sign right here. And you can put the moon up here. <laughs> you know, so. And these are like. Down! These are like effects. Like you can put fire. House is on fire. Big explosion up here. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff going on back there. And even a lightning bolt. Word. And you've got speech bubbles. So you can make them say things. There we go. Uh, that's all the options. We got different. Oh, you got a signpost here as well. You can put a sign here anywhere. So, yeah, you can put anything there, you can type anything in, you can move it, you can move it around anywhere you want. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> so, that looks pretty good there. So you can save this down here. You can save it, you can print it. Do all kinds of stuff with it, so. Next page. So you can save a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So that's create a comic book. If you're sure, you need to save your comic book before you leave. Choose a western or outer space. Alright everybody, so that is Toy Story 2 Activity Center. This was released in 1999, same as the movie. Um, so like I said, there's not as many activities as in the first one, but... Still pretty cool to play around with. So hey, this is Whisker Fear, and hope you all enjoyed, and... I'll see you next time.